from the streets of Stockton will undoubtedly feel right at home tonight. At home here in Sacramento, Nick Diaz will be challenged by tough Brazilian newcomer Gleison Tebow in a battle of talented 23-year-olds. Welterweight young gun, Gleison Tebow has a professional mixed martial arts victory for each of his 23 years, showing that despite his youth, he is a seasoned veteran in the world's toughest sport. A Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert, he now trains with the respected American top team in Florida and is eager to test his skills in the octagon for the first time against UFC veteran Nick Diaz. Com certeza vai ter toda a torcida. When we close the cage, it's me and him, nobody else. What counts is my heart, my mind, and my training, and I know what I'm ready for. It. Welterweight contender Nick Diaz has traveled the world over the course of his five-year mixed martial arts career, from Tokyo to Atlantic City and back. But tonight, Diaz only has 40 miles to drive to the Arco Arena to face Gleison Tebow, the Stockton, California native, 14 and six as a professional, and owner of wins over Robbie Lawler, Jeremy Jackson, and Drew Fickett in an exciting UFC career that has never seen him in a bad fight. Diaz is coming off perhaps the most impressive win of his tenure in the Octagon in August, as he showed a complete mixed martial arts game in submitting always tough Josh Neer at UFC 62. Diaz, who will be fighting for the fifth time in 2006, is looking forward to returning home and putting on a spectacular show. If I could fight every month, I'd be ready to fight every month because I'm I'm always ready to fight, and that's what I'm doing. That's full time. There's no breaks or vacations for me. Coming up next, Gleison Tebow takes on Nick Diablo Diaz. Now, a big smile on the face of Gleison Tebow, born in Brazil, now fighting with the very talented American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. And he is a tough. Brazilian fighter, a gamer who likes to work his ground game but is not afraid to mix things up. You gotta love these Brazilian guys. They got so much heart. They love the battle. And I mean, it, it's a battle just being in Brazil and living down there. Fighting is a way of life there. And they bring all that experience here into the octagon. Started fighting in Brazil when he was 15 years old. He says he goes to college at American Top Team where he's learning all he can. He completed high school back in Brazil, started training when he was 15, as I said, and he said, quite simply, this is the only job I know. Somewhat of a typical Brazilian. Yeah, absolutely. What a physical specimen this oh, kid's absolutely. put together. Lacen Tebow. Gleison Tebow at 23 and 2 in his mixed martial arts career set to make his UFC debut. Crowd probably not going to be in his favor yeah. tonight. He seems to be savoring it though. He liked the booze. It made him smile. He didn't mind it at all. Take it till the kid from the streets of Stockton, a matter of miles away from Marco, comes in right now. Said, enjoy it while it lasts. Stockton, California. Typical Nick Diaz. Very um, plain and uh, not very eventful entrance. A tap out hoodie, a t shirt, and a pair of jeans. He's all business. And in the win or lose, every time he steps in this octagon, he brings it. He's an exciting fighter, wide open, doesn't care about game plans or anything. He's going to go out there, see what happens, and enjoy the fight. I'm guessing they're the same jeans he wore to the weigh-in yesterday as well. Comes to Sacramento, he says, with no jitters. Needs to flow from situation to situation because at times we have seen Nick Diaz look like the greatest striker in the world, like against Robbie Lawler. Then he looks like the greatest submission expert in the world, like when he's submissioned by the Kimura, Josh Neer. 
Then there's times we just don't seem to see anything out of Nick Diaz. I'm wondering if there's a psychological letdown there, because sometimes he lacks confidence in himself or what it is that holds him back, because some particular fights he just doesn't seem to get on track to get in the rhythm of the fight. Caesar Gracie, brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Started with the Gracies at age 16. His first fight was at the age of 17. He has ever-improving stand-up, and he says quite simply he feels he trains harder than anyone he has ever met. The kid from the streets of Stockton, fighting tonight in Sacramento, Nick Diablo Diaz. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight matchup, 23-year-old against 23-year-old. Four-inch reach advantage for Diaz over the Brazilian, T-Bow. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, the man fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 23 wins with two losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Gleason T. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 14 wins with six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Mazzagatti. Steve Mazzagatti, our referee. Nick Diaz from 45 minutes south of Arco Arena against Gleason Tebow, who's come all the way All right, from guys, Brazil. here we go. You ready? You ready? Bring it on! And here we go. Diaz was already in the center of the octagon before Mazzagatti officially started the fight. Always so unorthodox. Oh, looks for a single leg early, Randy. Keep it up, kind of shutting him off, looking to crawl into a, to a hook here and take Diaz's back. Diaz rolling. Gleason trying to step has got, got Diaz's back here. No anchors yet, no hooks. A little high. Diaz pulls him over the top. Looking early for a submission attempt. He's got a Kimura. Tebow trying to transition, Randy. Diaz extremely comfortable, though, when it gets into a submission battle. Tebow has a nice Kimura here. He's trying to isolate, get that arm out away from Diaz's body and, and put pressure on that elbow joint. Oh, he's got it. Can he finish? Diaz looking to turn out. Holy cow. Wow, great job done by Nick Diaz. But still very persistent is Gleason Tebow. 23 and 2, the real deal. Both very young competitors. Close Great guard. deal of experience. Nick Diaz with the closed guard on the bottom. Both, as I said, Randy, experienced, but T Bao has not fought the same caliber of world class fighters as Diaz when you go to Robbie Lawler or Drew Fickett or Diego Sanchez, Joe Riggs, Sean Shirk, Josh Neer. Not quite the same arsenal of opponents that Diaz has attacked, that t -Bow has attacked. Well, and it, you know, there's something to be said about a guy who's coming in here in the octagon for yes. his first time in an arena, like Arco Arena, full of people. I mean, the nerves, the, it can be a bit overwhelming. It'll be interesting to see how t -Bow reacts to that situation and it's hard to say what kind of competition he had in brazil well, who were the cats that he fought down there right, right. to get that that 23 and 2 record looks good so far though working his game plan against nick diaz went for the early submission and nick of course was able to roll out of it the gracie jiu-jitsu brown belt nice counter to diaz's single leg he's had those arms twisted a few times before i, I think so very flexible oh absolutely Good job, though, looking to pass. Tebow standing in Diaz's guard. Looking to find a way past his feet. Diaz being overwhelmed early, but not damaged. 
Close guard, now look again. Way up high. The flexibility of Diaz has always been one of the benefits to his arsenal. Trying to climb, hold the upper body of Tebow down into his chest. Makes it hard to posture up and punch. And gets his hips up. There's armbar attempt by Diaz. Yeah, the finish. There's the armbar. Can he do it? Tebow slipping out. Nick Diaz, how crazy nice he transitioned into Tebow. that submission attempt. That's the game which is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. That's how explosive a submission can be. As explosive, Randy, as a knockout attempt. Absolutely. Just that fast. Gets his hips out, isolates that arm, extends it. Tebow has to roll to counter that, that submission attempt. Gives up his back, though. Tebow on Diaz's back. Is this a ploy to try and reverse the situation by Diaz? And will that a submission attempt a moment ago by Diaz all of a sudden put a little doubt in the mind of this uh, at least seemingly dominant Glayson Tebow all of a sudden saying, hey, maybe I'm not so much in control of this fight. Diaz looking for another opportunity. Diaz does the reversal, gives up his back, and it ends up on top. This is a, a, a nice tactic by Nick Diaz. Reversal of fortunes indeed. And he wants to close and punish. And those long limbs of Diaz help him in this situation. Nice grounded pound, Half postured guard. up. Half guard, and he's got a great position with Tebow up against the fence. To the elbow here. Tebow might be a bit frustrated, too. Diaz standing, bringing in nice shots from a higher elevation. Diaz continuing with the left hand. He's poking away at Glayson Tebow. This is where he can do some damage, Randy, even in the half guard. He's got, got the knee right, yeah, almost got to the right bounce. There. Yep. Tough position against the fence for Tebow to get out of here, and he's taking a good beating. Diaz with a straight right. Mazzagatti right on top of the action. There's the elbow. Nick Diablo Diaz trying to finish it here late in round one. Great well, job with the posturing, as you said, Randy, giving himself distance to damage. Tebow may make it through round one, though. Ten seconds left. Diaz trying to finish it. Tebow changes positions. Tebow still in this. We're going to head to round two. Great job done in round one by both fighters. Hey, look at he's here's the, done for. He doesn't know. Here's the Kimura attempt. Trying to pull the arm out and isolate it. Hyper extend that elbow. The extreme flexibility of Nick Diaz using his leg to counter and not allow Tebow to move his head away. Here's the arm bar by Diaz, rolling him over, extending the elbow with his hips. Tebow just slipping it and turning out at the last second. Great submission attempts by both guys. The ground and pound from the knee ride of Nick Diaz here, using those long arms. Down there. Watch this shot. That arm. And the clinch, knees to the leg, knee to the body, all right? Knee to the leg, knee to the body. Get some water. Get some water on the mat. Got your hands crossed. Yep. The corner of T-Bow. Go back. We'll look go at back, the determination on the back, face back, back. of Diaz. Hold on, hold on, hold on, go back. Both You're anxious ready? to get You're round ready. number Bring two on. started. Both guys can't wait to get to this one. Diaz did it again. There's a shot by T-Bow. Double in. Wow. By Diaz. What a great job done by Nick there. Now he's looking for the single. The single leg. Nice defense. Going for the Kimura now over the back is Diaz. Nick Diaz trains with David Terrell and Gil Castillo. All the guys at the Caesar Gracie gym. Ground specialist indeed. Always wants to bring it. He says, and I quote, I don't do anything else good, so I fight. He's trained boxing with Rodney Jones. Three fights against good strikers. As a hero, and none other than, not surprisingly, Hoist Gracie. We have five and switch, standing switch, trying to get the Diaz's back. No go. Likes that strong hand lead, too. Let's see if that comes out of Nick Diaz here. Combination. Started with the left, finished with the straight right. Back in that half guard. And a half shot by Tebow yep. and a cow catcher kind of mowing Tebow over is Nick Diaz. Diaz trying to work his way back into that posture position and land those shots with those long arms. And right back to it. 
again, he's got he's got that right leg postured as you talked about, Randy. So it's not truly a half guard. He's actually anchoring his opponent down with that right knee. It's called a knee ride. Right it's, knee ride. it's almost a half mount. He's, he's, it's a knee mount or knee ride position. Knee ride may be the end of the ride for Blaise and Tebow. Nick landing some good shots here. Start thinking about getting out of this position and finding what achieves this. Got the knee right again, Randy. Referee's right on it. Rabbit punches by Diaz. If you put a little more on those. Not much Glayson t Bout is able to do in this position. He is going to have to improve or he will be defeated. Diaz now works the body. Back up for a second. t Bow looks like he's about done and it is all over. Nick Diaz wins here in Sacramento. Mazagati saw enough. T-Bow unable, you know what, Nick Diaz let the pressure off for a second to change the position. He's not going to do anything but take more of a beating. Mazagati stopped the fight. You could see it in his eyes. Sometimes you mentally submit before you actually submit. Yeah, that was definitely a mental letdown there. He broke. He just felt, you know, Lost. He, he couldn't. He couldn't get out of the position. And the crowd here loves the kid from Stockton. Just 45 minutes I'll tell out. You what happened with that? Who's get out of this round? See the replay here. The beginning of the end for Nick Diaz. Left hook. A little right uppercut. Cow catcher throws him down. Right back to the common position we've seen here. This knee ride, postured up, landing the big punches. Bringing him down on T-Bow. Diaz is the victor. As he finishes Glayson T-Bow here in round number two. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. For the winner by TKO, Nick Diaz! Nick, great job. Solid performance. Did he surprise you a little bit right at the start with the Kimura attempt? Uh, no, I knew he'd probably come out and go for stuff right off the bat. I should have been a little more ready for it, though. Uh, I came off to a slow start in here due to being discouraged a little bit about uh, knowing a little... I didn't know very much about my opponent. And, uh, the timing training, it just, training didn't go as good as it usually does for these things. So I was a little bit discouraged and I kind of got to know him while I was in here, kind of, so to speak. So, uh, but I want to, I want to thank, I want to thank Cesar Gracie, everybody at the academy for helping me train. Nasser Dambroni from here in Sacramento for helping come get in my corner. All the guys, uh, Justin Bourgeois, Nick Bourgeois, Mike Davis, uh, Chris Quitaquit, Nathan Diaz, everybody for helping me train, uh, you know, all my friends. Appreciate it. Thank talk, you. talk me through this replay here. Go ahead. Uh, see well, basically, I knew he wasn't getting up, so I just went ahead and took my time, punched a little slower. I didn't want to, you know, overdo it, trying to get a stoppage. I knew I wasn't that desperate for one. Uh, he did crank on my arm a little bit, so I didn't know how my arm was. I, I, like I said, I. I didn't feel, I didn't get warmed up uh, as good as I should have coming out, so I wasn't uh, too sure of myself in the first round, but I started feeling better uh, toward the end of that first round. Ladies and gentlemen, Northern California, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz. The kid from Stockton reigns supreme here tonight at Arco Arena. Diaz defeats Gleason Tebow.